Hey all, as you know, I've been participating in the Highlight Contest and I thought it was a good time to take a step back and look a bit at the top strategies to take some inspiration from. Uh, and I think this analysis might be helpful for others, so that's why I'm recording this YouTube video. Uh, let me know if it helps. Let's get right in. Um, so first of all, I've find, found uh, a game that contains both the first player currently and the second player. And I think this is a good um, game to watch because it contains two top players and it will really show us what is the best strategies to take at the moment. Let's dive right in. Um, so I've already loaded this game and started to look a bit into what's happening. First of all, there is the opening game. Uh, what happens on the first turns? And you can see that there are different strategies. Uh, one of the players, I mean, three of the players are right away building their shipyard and spawning their first ship. Which is a wise strategy because at the beginning you want to spawn as many ships as possible to uh, be able to start harvesting and start attacking and defending your base. Uh, however, uh, Team VQ is not spawning right away um, their shipyard. They are moving their ship close to an area that has more halite and then creating their shipyard at that point. Um, I don't think this is, I, I'm not sure exactly if this is like the best strategy on that, but that's just two different approach to keep in mind. One is just going as fast as possible and creating as many ships as possible and the other being being a bit more strategic about where you place your uh, first shipyard. Um, and then at, so like this is turn six and you can see that already three players have um, four ships and one player has zero ship because of this strategy. And I think it's really nice to see some snapshots. And for example, we can check, let's check turn 20. Or maybe let's check a little bit before. Here you can see that uh, most players already have like their ships deployed. Uh, except for some reason there, there is one missing ship here. Maybe th there was a collision. Oh no, they, they didn't spend all of their highlights. So yeah, I think that's not a good move. Uh, I think at the beginning of the game you should spend all of your highlights because you want as many ships as possible to uh, express your strategy, to gather highlights and do all of, these thing all of these things. So at the beginning of the game, I think this is not worth it to keep highlight in there. That's my point of view. Uh, that's something that you can see on these uh, two other top players. Um, and then one thing that I also found out is that um, the players usually keep their sh the top players usually keep their ships grouped together, uh, and that's something that on my end as a newbie I wasn't doing. I'm just like uh, making each ship move uh, right and left just on their own. Whereas here there is like much more collective uh, intelligence, uh, which is good apparently. Um, and I think we can skip a bit ahead. You can see some waves of yellow, for example, here, going top to bottom. Uh, and at that point in the game, I think it's good because you can see that yellow has two shipyards now. And this is the only player that has two shipyards. I think shipyards is a really costly thing to do because you have to spend, uh, so like each ship is worth 500 halite. You can transform a ship into a shipyard for 500 halite. And um, then you need to create another ship to replace the transformed ship. And this is another 500 halite. So that's quite costly. Uh, it, I, to me, a shipyard is worth 1,000 halite because it's a ship and then that converted into a shipyard. Uh, but here you can see that on turn 35, which is quite early in the game, yellow Sergei has already two shipyards. And I think this is going to be key. The shipyards are close, uh, located quite close to each other, which is a good thing because it's easy to defend both of them, to have ships that are in between. Um, so yeah. 
just little observations that are going to be key to understand really how the games should be played uh, at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, and there are sometimes ships that I see uh, not moving next to a big highlight spot. And I believe this could be a strategy, which is to place a ship right next to a highlight spot, so that when an enemy is stopping on this highlight spot, you just go and destroy them. I'm not sure this is like really the best strategy, but yeah, sometimes I see things like that. I'm not sure this is the strategy that is done. Um, so at that point, you can really see that Yellow already has uh, some advantage. They have more ships than other people, more shipyards. And here, I believe Purple is not doing great use of all the highlight they have in the cargo. So the highlight in the cargo is highlight that ships have. So basically here, it looks like this ship has a, bit of, a bunch of highlight, this one has a bunch of highlight. So this could be a good use, to, a good time to either move, transform this ship into a shipyard or moving it back to the original shipyard. And yeah, it's a bit hard to see. Yeah, uh, at that point, they move the um, highlight back to the shipyard, but some other ships have more ship, more highlight. So yeah, they always have a high cargo. And I think that's something that you need to optimize for, which is transforming this cargo into actual highlight by bringing back the highlight into a shipyard. Uh, that's a tough thing to do. And you can see that the two top players here have like very little highlight in a lot of ships. Uh, so you can see already that here, yeah, yellow is doing better than any other players. And that's something that's gonna just increase through the, the game. Um, and at that point, you can see that the game is already done. Like uh, two players have no shipyards, just a few ships. So these two players are out of the game. And really what's happening is that there is a contest between yellow and green, which are the two top players in the highlight ranking. And you can see that uh, yellow has a strong advantage. What I think is really interesting to watch at that point in the game is how uh, yellow is moving and trying to uh, block the um, other ships. So here, for example, you can see that this ship is in pursuit of this one. And this is interesting. And at that point, What's mostly interesting is to see that there are two ships now that are in pursuit of this one. And you can see that they are moving next to each other, trying to corner this ship. Here they did a bad move to the left. But then this one went to the left, so now they are back into the right, in the right position. So it is all about trying to corner a specific ship. Here I think this is what's happening as well. And you can see that this ship is going to have a tough time. Here, the, this is it is cornered with three ships around it. So usually you would think it would go that way. It would be going that way. And you can see that all of the ships are really blocking this one. But this is a tough, uh, a tough part, which is to actually destroy an enemy ship because the ships have a lot of mobility. Um, so you can see the, the struggle here to really destroy this ship. There isn't a lot of things that uh, Yellow can do. And one of the defensive aspects uh, that Green is using as well here that is interesting to see is that the green ship is staying on the shipyard, which means that any other sh ship colliding here would just be destroying the ship that is in the shipyard, but not the shipyard itself. So that could be a way to defend your shipyard, to just park a ship on your shipyard. A ship that is empty, of course. Um, because when two ships are colliding, the ship with less highlight is the one surviving. Um, I think this is mostly it for the observations of this game. You can really see that it is all about having a lot of ships and it looks like 30 ships is the max for yellow. So that's 
a number that you can keep in mind. Yellow has three shipyards and 30 ships. So that's something that you can win a game with just three shipyards and 30 ships. Um, and another interesting point is that they don't have much halite here. They just have 7,000, um, which means that you don't need to accumulate so much halite. When you have too much halite, most likely you need to go on an offensive uh, strike on the opponent. Another point, and I think that's going to be the last one, uh, another big observation here is that you can see that there is a very little highlight left on the board, which means that um, the top players are really harvesting highlights almost till the end. They are leaving very few highlights except here because I believe Red has parked some uh, dangerous ships next to the highlights. Um, so yeah, this is all the observation that we can see for this game. Let me know if this is useful for you. I hope this uh, gives you a peek into the current meta for this game, uh, what the current top players are using. Um, hopefully this was useful. Thanks, and don't hesitate to leave a like. That's it for now. Bye-bye. For <laughs>